Do you want to build a software application? Then considering PHP or ASP.NET could be a good idea. But which technology should you use when? Let us have a look at it, in this video. PHP is a programming language or scripting language which was created in 1994 by a person called Rasmus Lerdorf. It had very humble beginnings. And only small websites were built by it. PHP stood for personal homepage in the beginning. This shows that its purpose was for smaller websites. Nowadays many frameworks have been created. Such as Laravel, Symfony or Zend. And even very popular content management systems such as WordPress or Drupal are based on PHP. Or even the most popular shop systems such as Magento. ASP.NET on the other hand was created in 2002 by Microsoft. The main idea behind this framework was to build web applications. But from the beginning onwards the idea behind ASP.NET was to build medium to large scale web applications for enterprise clients. Enterprise clients are companies which are larger in size. For example companies with more than 1000 employees. So there you can see the first big difference. PHP was built for smaller web applications. Nowadays it is also used for medium sized web applications. And ASP.NET was intended to build bigger web software. But in reality ASP.NET is used to build medium sized software in large companies. So basically the same sized applications are being built with PHP as well as with ASP.NET. But which technology should you use? If you are planning to build a new software from scratch which you want to offer to your clients, then PHP might be the better solution. If you want to build a medium sized web solution for your enterprise client, then use ASP.NET. Especially if those clients already use the .NET framework within their company. With bot ASP.NET and also PHP it is possible to build very small applications. Both technologies offer simple tools to click, code and build small but effective software. What is your opinion? When should ASP.NET or PHP be used? Looking forward towards your comments. And before you leave, hit the subscribe button or give the video a like, in case you found the video helpful.